afternoon, people. It's, I think it's Thursday. Yeah, it is. This is day 13, I think. Um, I have to go live or go home. This is a video, obviously. Anyway, uh, basically, it's the requirement was to talk about something you haven't shared on social media before. Um, I have a a sad story and a funny story involved in it as well. Uh, basically, um, I have been married before. Uh, this is my current one, second, second marriage job. The first one was when I was in my 20s for about 10 years. We weren't actually married for 10 years, we were only married for a couple of years, but we um, should have actually split up and got married after about six years. Had a major communication problem, um, breakdown, I suppose you could say. We didn't. Hang on, I just off. We didn't talk, and I wasn't happy. She wasn't happy, and neither was really new. Uh, it turned out she ended up having an affair, left me for the guy she had the affair with. Um, went to the other side of the world and left me with all the debts. That's the sad bit. I found myself working not one, not two, three jobs. I was working two part-time jobs and one casual job. I was working seven days a week and I was working a day job during the day, going from the day job to an afternoon shift, which was four or five hours a day, five days a week at Australia Post. Um, I'll step back a sec. Day job I was doing cab kitchen cabinets, building kitchens, cabinet making sort of stuff. Afternoon shift I went to Australia Post and did five hours there sorting parcels and some days I went from there home, got changed, had dinner and went to night shift or night fill doing a few hours, three or four hours at Woolies filling the shelves. On weekends I was working in the dock at Woolies, uh, the loading dock, unloading all the trucks, all the produce and food and groceries and shit. Uh, Saturday I was working from 5am to 1.30pm. Sunday I was working from 6am till 10am. And some weekends I would also go back in the afternoon, Saturday and Sunday, and do night fill as well. If they were running short of staff, um, I'd get the call and I'd go back and do a split shift. Anyway, it was one of these nights, here's the funny story. One of these nights I was on a Saturday afternoon, I'd started about 4 o'clock. I think I'd had about two hours break between working because I worked longer in the, during the day on the dock. Anyway, went home, had a bit of a snooze, had something to eat, went back. I'd been working, filling the shelves out in the open store for about, I don't know, two, two or three hours. Anyway, all of a sudden, my boss came up to me and she said, oh my God, you need sleep or you need a woman? Uh, what? She said, well, you obviously can't dress yourself. Now, I had, not only was my polo su supplied, work supplied polo shirt with a collar and a pocket, inside out, it was back to front. So the collar was on the inside at the front and the pocket was on the inside at the back. And I'd been in the store in the public view for several hours doing my job with that. Uh, embarrassment, humiliation. Hmm. Oh, I was obviously red, bright red faced. Anyway, so I ran, ran out the back, took my shirt off, turned it back inside the right way, put it back on properly, and went back out and continued working on the shelves. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, I was that exhausted, mentally stuffed. I didn't even realise that a polo shirt was on the wrong way. Anyway, there you go. So, turns out I was, I paid off all the debt worked my ass off, paid massive amounts of tax, trying to kill myself. You now they say burning the candle at candle both ends. Well, I was burning at both ends and a couple of places in the middle as well. Anyway, so there you go. That's the funny story. That's a sad story. That was back in the early 2000s, uh, so it's a hell of a long time ago. Gotten into another relationship, or plenty of other relationships since then. Got myself married, child. Back into debt again too. Bloody hell. Anyway, I'm only working the one job now. 
this job at one stage was it was 24 7 on call as well as working five days a week um, thanks to COVID there's one one plus I guess uh, they took the 24 7 on call away and now I only work five days a week I still work long hours during the week you know and I get there when I when I get there and I leave when I, when I leave as long as the work's done it doesn't matter as long as I get the work done some days that's longer than others but anyway as you can see I'm probably yeah it's daylight it's 5 30 that's an early day for me I'm on my way home it's all daylight anyway so yeah that's that's my story uh, not a lot of people know that family people family on here would know that um, or most of it but um, they may not have heard the story about the Woolies embarrassment but some of them will have anyway that's enough from me from there um, I'm going to go and continue my drive home. Have a good evening.